items to add, but I like to add some of the Enjoy Life dark chocolate chips or chunks, as well as a little bit of coconut. Some people really like this recipe with chopped walnuts and raisins, um, but you can add in whatever you want. And then you want to add in about a half a cup of honey. Now you can use agave nectar for this recipe. Um, some people also really like to use a dark maple syrup. I think for me the maple syrup is just a little bit too sweet. So you're going to want to mix this together really well. It takes quite a while to get it all incorporated. And you might get a little bicep workout while you're doing it too. So you're going to want to mix it up. So once you get it all mixed up, it'll kind of form a ball. And you want it to be somewhat stiff because you're going to make actual bars out of it. Now you will probably want to just use your hands to press it down into the pan. And again, like I said, I mean, you can really get as creative as you want with this recipe. Um, for breakfast, I do like to use raisins um, and coconut or raisins and chopped nuts for my kids so that I know they're getting enough something a little healthier than chocolate. But the chocolate chip ones are phenomenal. So you'll press it into the pan like this, and then you'll want to refrigerate it for a little bit, and then you'll cut it into squares. And what I like to do is once I've cut it into squares, I'll put it in little Ziploc snack packs so that you can just grab one, throw it in your kids' lunch, or they can grab one for breakfast, or grab one before and after school practice. These are also a really good post-workout granola bar. And again, that just saves you a lot of money, and you know what you're eating instead of buying a prepackaged bar. 